this video I want to take a look at the node red message object. Now no, a node red flow consists of a series of interconnected or wired nodes and all nodes must have an input and they can have zero or multiple outputs and they exchange data using the message object. The message object is passed between between the nodes. Uh, this is a simple uh, demo flow that I've just created to demonstrate the, the message object and first I'm going to use the inject node and I'm going to just basically uh, going to use it to inject a message into the debug node and we can display it in the debug window over here and to make that send a message I just click here and it will send a message into the debug node and I should see it here. Now what I'm sending here is a timestamp and I can send various things in here, numbers, strings, JSON objects, etc. But for illustration, I'm just going to send the, the timestamp in there. So let's just click on this and we see the time appear over here. Now, if you can see here, uh, it says message.payload. Now, by default, the debug node will display the message.payload. Now, there are more properties of the, that message object and if we want to see all of them we just select complete message object and done and deploy it and then when we do it again this time we see the message payload we also see a topic and we also see a, a message ID so that message itself consists of various various properties uh, the message is a, is a message object now Depending on where the message originated depends on the properties of their object. So I've created an MQTT subscribe node here and it's subscribing to a topic house wildcard and there's the broker configured there. This is not so important. All I want to do here is to illustrate the fact that the MQTT node will create a different message object or message object with different properties and we've got that message object going into the debug node and we should see the results over here so all I have to do is trigger that um, MQTT node to send a message and to do that I'm going to use the uh, command line so here we are at the command line now I'm just going to send a pub, uh, message on house S1 and it's going to say test message that's all I'm going to do and I've cleared the debug node here so we can see it and let's just send the message and you can see over here now that it consists of a topic has uh, sensor one a payload test message quality of service retain flag and message ID so a message object originated here actually contains different properties than the message property uh, the message object uh, originating from this node here uh, now nodes can actually change the message object and they can create a brand new message object if they want to uh, but I'm going to show you how to change the message object uh, as it goes through and to do that we've got a function node so I'm just going to send the timestamp into a function node and back out again into the debug and let's remove that and clear over here and if we look at the function by default all it does is returns the message object so it shouldn't do anything to the message object it should just go all the way through so if we click on here and you can see it's gone all the way through topic blank message ID and the payload there okay so let's modify our function so it modifies the message object now we can modify the payload we can modify the topic or we can actually create new properties so I'm actually going to do two things I'm going to modify the topic so it has a topic and I'm going to add another property to that message object as it goes through so I've just changed the function so as it adds a topic to it or adds something to the topic property because the topic property already exists and I'm going to create a new property and, and give it the value of new and then I'm just going to return the message and let's see what happens there and deploy it and run it now if we look over here on the right hand side we can see the 
topic now is called test topic and we've got another property called new property and it's got a value of new and that property didn't exist here and that topic was a blank originally so we can use the function node to modify the the message object now with the function node I can actually return uh, multiple message objects and this is useful if you've you've got a split output so you're you're feeding into several different nodes now if I don't actually return the message object then the flow stops so if I just comment that out and done and deploy it again and this time when I trigger it nothing happens you don't see anything appearing over here and trigger it again and nothing's happened so basically if you don't return the object the flow stops there nothing comes out of here and goes into that that node there okay that's all I really want to say about the message object uh, before we finish the video I just want to show you something you might find a bit useful if you want to copy um, a flow or parts of a flow you just use the control key and click on the various nodes and then you go to the other part of the, the canvas here or you can create another flow and then you just do control C to copy it and you see it's copied and then you say click down here I keep right clicking but that doesn't work and you just control V to paste it and you've got the flow there and say so you can create another node uh, sorry another flow again I'm right clicking I shouldn't do and just control V to copy it there and likewise you can use control A to highlight all of them and I'm just going to delete all of them with the delete key because I didn't want that anyway so that's the end of the video uh, if you've got a comment then leave it below if you like the video then you can use the like button below and if you want to get notified when I publish uh, new videos then you can subscribe to the channel and if you go over to the website, you can also subscribe to the newsletter if you want to. Until next time, goodbye.